Hi, I'm Victoria from Weaviate. We've been doing a lot of work to take our open source RAG application Verba to the next level, and I'm super excited to share it with you today. Retrieval augmented generation is one of the most popular techniques right now to leverage large language models in production or industry use cases. In a RAG workflow, the user asks a question like, what is Weaviate? And that query is sent into a vector database to search for related documents or chunks to that sentence. Then, that context, along with the original query, are put together in a prompt for an LLM. The LLM will then output a conversational response to the original question using the provided context. There's a lot of benefits to RAG systems. Unlike other techniques like fine-tuning, RAG can be super cheap and much easier to update with new data or delete old or outdated information without having to retrain a whole new model. They can help reduce hallucinations and errors seen in LM systems normally, and the users can directly see the source information used by the model, allowing increased transparency and trust. Even though there are a lot of tutorials and resources for RAG now, it's still a big technical undertaking to make a good advanced RAG application. This is why we built Verba, the golden RAG retriever. We wanted to provide advanced RAG techniques to anyone, even if they didn't have a technical background, and make it super easy to use and customize. Thank you, Victoria. On top of our mission to make RAG accessible, we are an open source company. And as VV8, we want to double down on open source machine learning. With this new Verba release, we make it super easy for you to run any open source model on top of Olama, so you can build open and accessible bridges over any mode. Just spin up Verba locally with Olama and run all the awesome open source models you love. What about Meta's Llama 3, Mistral's 7 billion open source model, Command R from Cohere, Gamma from DeepMind, or all the awesome mixed spread AI models? But that's not all. The new update also has a reworked interface, improving the user experience and adding more control over your Rack application. For example, Conversations are now cached in the browser, so you don't lose them when you leave the app. When ingesting data, you now receive better feedback of what's happening in the backend by receiving logging information. And when querying Verba, you can now view the exact context that is being sent to the LLM to better understand where the answers are coming from. These and many more features will help with using and understanding Verba. Verba was built from the ground up with a focus on modularity and customization. You can choose and add between different data types, chunking techniques, and large language models. With the new update, you'll also be able to fully customize the look of Verba, changing logo, title, colors, and more. This allows you to build your individual rack app in just a couple of clicks. And my personal favorite, the dark mode. To change the front end, we have a new page for settings. On that page, you're able to apply all the needed changes. You will also find settings like enabling caching or autocomplete suggestions. But don't forget to apply these changes. Let's have a closer look at what you can do with Verba. Let's look into a real use case in the medical domain. When we're working in a sensitive area like healthcare, we need to be careful that the LLM is producing the right output. Navigating patient notes, treatment plans or adverts drugs effects requires precise and correct information. So let's dive together into our REC showcase Zana Maxima, which is built on top of Verba utilizing Google Gemini and VV8. For Zana Maxima, we capture three patient cases. This includes their medical records, treatment plans, medications and any adverse drugs reaction they may have experienced. We also added the latest research on cancer treatments to provide doctors with the latest information in the domain, just in case they are needing it. Let's jump into our live demo. What are the names of our patients? As said, just three, as this is a demo showcase, but with Verba you can easily scale into millions or billions of records. Let's ask Zana Maxima some practical questions. Who is Amanda? What is Amanda's treatment plan? What side effects does Amanda experience? What medication can be related to Amanda's side effects? What is the latest research on methotrexate? 
having industry use cases, like the medical one Philip just went through, Verb is also a great tool for chatting with company data, either as an internal tool, external, or both. In our online live demo of Verba, we've ingested all of Weave8's documentation and resources, from our blog posts, podcasts, academy, you name it. This means that Verba can now answer any questions about Weave8, or even do Weave8-specific generation tasks, like help us create content on new features, or give us ideas for our next video. When we ask the question, what is hybrid search? We get back context chunks around the hybrid search blog post, which is definitely expected. We also get a great answer going into details on what hybrid search actually is. So let's ask a follow-up question. Can I implement hybrid search in JavaScript? Verber responds with the correct answer, yes, and even gives an example code snippet. We can ask all sorts of different questions, everything from what are some enterprise use cases of Weaviates to can I use Weaviate with Llama Index or even what is Verba? The best thing is that setting up this environment doesn't take two weeks of engineering. It's as simple as just getting it set up locally, adding documents in the UI and customizing your theme. Edward's going to show you how to set it up in just a couple of minutes and realistically, you could have your own personal company chatbot in just a few hours of work. To get started with Verba, you have three options. Install it via pip install golden Verba, install it via cloning the open source repo and installing from source, or use Docker to install both VV8 and Verba into one container. Before installing Verba, make sure to have at least Python 3.10 installed and create a new virtual environment. If you're new to Python and setting up virtual environments, we have a little guide on our GitHub page, as well as a README, which is also explaining the installation steps. Once we have the correct Python version and environment, we can install Verba by writing pip install golden Verba into the console. After the installation, we're going to create an environment file to specify some environment variables. You'll find the full list of possible variables in the Verba README. For this installation example, I want to use Olama. Olama is already installed and running for me. You can visit the Olama webpage to get a guide on installing it on your own device. To use Olama in Verba, we need to specify the URL it's currently running on and the model name we want to use. Let's use Llama Free for this. Make sure that the environment file is placed where you want to use Verba. Now, we can simply start with the Verba start command. This will run the server and make Verba accessible via localhost 8000. We can use the overview page to see whether both Olama variables were set. Now, let's quickly import the Verba README to test the application. For that, we go to the add document page, select the reader, chunker, and embedding model. Let's use the Olama embedder for this. Once ingested, we can go to the chat page and ask how to install Verba with Docker. This response was now generated locally and no data left my device. Before using Docker, make sure to have Docker installed and running. As Verba is telling us, we can simply use the docker compose up command to start the process and install both Weave8 and Verba locally. Let's use the dash dash environment file flag to point to our prepared environment file. Once both are installed, we can access Verba again through localhost 8000 and Weaviate through localhost 8080. That's how you can get started using a local rag app on your device. If you run into any issues, feel free to create an issue or PR on our GitHub page. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give Verber a star on GitHub or even become one of our open source contributors and make Verber even more fantastic. By the way, we are hiring, so if you want to work with a young, super ambitious and fast-moving team, this is your chance to work with Victoria, Edward and me. You will find our open roles in the description. And don't forget, all your vector embeddings are belong to you. In 2017, attention was all you need. What happened? Somebody set up us the bomb. We get signal. What? Main screen turn on. It's you. How are you, gentlemen? All your vector embeddings are belong to you. You are on the way to vector search. What you say? Giving away your data will not survive. Make your time. Ha, ha, ha.